Hey everybody, welcome to Tribal Review. On today's show, you'll meet three of our boys varsity basketball players. Also on the broadcast, we'll find out who some of your favorite teachers are. This and more coming up next on Tribal Review. Hey, Florida State High School, I'm Madeline Webb. And I'm Raphael Tenery. Today is Thursday, March 9th, 2017, and here are some of the interesting news stories for this week. A South Carolina woman is drawing inspiration from April the Giraffe, who resides in the Animal Adventure Park in Harpersville, New York, and is expecting to give birth to her fourth calf. Erin Dietrich is 39 weeks pregnant and just days away from having her own baby. People have been watching the live stream from April's pen in anticipation of the calf's birth. Erin decided to make her own hilarious baby video with her pacing around with a rubber giraffe head through a Facebook live post. The video went viral and now America waits in anticipation for both April the giraffe and Erin Dietrich to give birth. This next story will let you know to never underestimate a woman. Reporter Tori Petri, who writes for the Detroit Lions website, ran the 40-yard dash in the NFL scouting combined in 5.98 seconds in heels. Although her time doesn't even come close to the new record of 4.22 set by John Ross, it is impressive due to her footwear. She may not be running routes as a wide receiver, but she did beat 2011 combined participate Isaiah Thompson, who ran a 6.06 .06 as a prospective offensive lineman. We'll be right back after these messages. Big Frog Custom T-shirts and more is the perfect place to celebrate your style. Visit the store to choose from thousands of designs to get digitally printed on shirts, hoodies, jerseys, and more. You can get apparel for your friends, family, clubs, and businesses. There are no setup or design fees and no minimums, so you can get as little or as many shirts as you want. Custom print your apparel and more at Big Frog located at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Suite D in Independence. Welcome back. Christian Lewaki is looking to finish out his senior year strong as an athlete at Photo Sage. KFOI sports reporter Josh Smith visited with him during the basketball season and found out about his dedication to both academics and competitive sports. Christian Lewaki is one of two seniors on the basketball team. He thinks being a student athlete has a lot of responsibilities. Um, there's a lot of responsibility that goes into it because you got to kind of balance out between sports and your schoolwork and uh, just make sure that you excel in uh, both parts. Christian participates in choir, band, and also nominated Homecoming King and is a part of the National Honor Society. Tim Lee appreciates how he is a team player. Oh, he always tries his hardest. He always does everything right. He never goes out of his own way to do his own thing. And he does it the best he can to help us win. He has a 3.8 GPA and is now preparing for the track season ahead. Chadwick Cedarwall likes how Christian leads by example. He's one of the two seniors, him and Alex Harvey. So he's obviously one of the older ones. And he, he leads by example. He never uh, complains or sits out or, you know, runs all the sprints. Yeah, he's definitely a leader for this team. Christian Lewaki is not only a reliable athlete, but he's also an excellent student. I'm Josh Smith, reporting for KFI Sports. Thanks, Josh. When we come back, we'll meet three four athlete Alex Harvey. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Welcome back. They're not 
many three sport athletes that have stayed competitive and provided leadership in all three of the sports they play. Alex Harvey is one of these rare students and KFOI sports reporter Zane Barr chatted with the senior about his time to the basketball court. Alex has lettered in baseball two times. He has enjoyed his time spent with the teams. Uh, yeah, I've greatly enjoyed it. I've made lots of new friends and we've grown a lot closer as the years progress. Um, it's something I'll remember throughout my whole life and it's been lots of fun. This is Alex's second year lettering in basketball. To Ryan thinks he's a very hard worker. He helped the team out a lot. Like, he's very focused and then he always getting the rebounds for us. But I don't know, he don't ever speak for it, but that's my man. Alex Harvey is a multi-sport varsity athlete. Des Griswold enjoys playing with him. He helps the team. I mean, he's, he quiet. he's so quiet, but he gets the job done. And he works hard. And he, he helps us out on the rebounds. And, he scores for us. Alex has been in National Honor Society for four years. Coach Wilson believes he is one of the hardest workers on the team. Um, Alex is one of those special kind of kids uh, that you know I'm not always, I'm never gonna really forget. Uh, not because of the way that he blows you away with you know scoring 20 points a game or things like that. It's just we call him the milkman um, because and, and maybe the mailman is what it's supposed to be, but he's dependable as the milkman. He does the you know carries his lunch pail. He does the dirty work, does all the little things. Uh, I've never heard him complain about being anything. He's always to practice, always on time, always takes care of business um, in the classroom, in the community. A very good kid, uh, real pleasure to be around. And you know, he, he's one of the parts that he's the glue that, that holds everything else together for teams. Alex Harvey has played basketball all four years of his high school career. I'm Zane Barr reporting for KFY Sports. Thanks, Zane. When we come back, we'll have this week's Kansas City Sports Report. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time. Choose from a variety of fresh, great-tasting foods and custards to be prepared by their friendly staff. Let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Spencer Patrick joins us now with this week's Kansas City Sports Report. Thanks, Madeline. The Mavericks beat the Tulsa Oilers 6-3 March 5th at SEC Arena. The win was the Mavericks' fourth straight win over Tulsa and improved their record to 27-23-2-5 on the season. The Mavs host the Allen Americans on March 10th with the puck dropping at 7.35 p.m. The Kansas City Phantoms are getting ready for their season opener March 13th against the Bloomington Edge. You can start buying tickets March 10th at the Silverstein Ice Center Arena from 7 to 10 p.m. The Kansas City Comets qualified for the postseason for the seventh straight year. They beat the Cedar Rapids Rampage 10-3 on February 26 to clinch the Central Division in the Major Arena Soccer League. The Comets will host the Milwaukee Wave at the SEC Arena on March 9th at 7.35 p.m. in the first round of the playoffs. That's it for your Kansas City Sports Report. I'm Spencer Patrick. Thanks, Spencer. The boys' basketball season wrapped up last week, and the team is looking to prepare in the offseason for next year. Tay Tyron and Isaiah Wilson plans to be a big part of it, and KFOI sports reporter Keegan Crabtree found out what drives the athlete. Isaiah Wilson is a varsity basketball player here at Florida State High School. Coach Josh Wilson tells us about what type of player Isaiah is on the court. Isaiah Wilson um, has been around the program for basically two and a half years now. Um, very athletic, but he's one of those players that you call a raw player, has some athleticism, he's still learning his skill. Isaiah plans on playing next year to contribute to his team. Teammate Christian Milwaukee tells us about the qualities Isaiah possesses. He's definitely one of the leaders on the team and one of the uh, better players, I'd say. And uh, definitely does puts a lot of input into what we do um, as a basketball team. The starting power forward has played basketball since he was in the third grade. I caught up with Isaiah to see how his high school career has been and hear about the gratitude he has for his coach. High school basketball has been a good experience for me. Um, on and off the field with the coaches, and I fight. Coach Wilson, he really helped me out a lot on and off the court. Isaiah Wilson wants to go to college to play basketball and later go into sports therapy. Reporting to you for KFOI Sports, I'm Keegan Crabtree. Thanks, Keegan. We'll be back in just a moment. 
Remember the travel perk located in the comments concession stands. Drinks are made fresh and only cost 50 cents to $1.50. Get any flavor from caramel, mocha, and vanilla, and add whipped cream to any drink for free. Come to the travel perk from 7.05 to 7.30 before school starts every morning. Now here's your entertainment news from Aaron Chandler. Thanks, Madeline. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is coming out March 3rd for the Wii U and Nintendo's new console, the Nintendo Switch. It's open world 12 times bigger than Twilight Princess, a previous Zelda game. In the game, Link wakes from a deep sleep and an old man tells him to defeat Calamity Ganon. It's not, yet, it's not out yet and it ha already has a multiple 10 out of 10 ratings. Lana Del Rey released a new song called Love. It is her, her first new single off her album set to come out later this year. That's it for your entertainment news. I'm Aaron Chandler. Thanks, Aaron. Well, it's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. Miss Emily Thomas was recently named the high school's teacher of the year. Kiana Tuck visited with you to find out who your favorite teachers are. There are 115 teachers in the high school. Students shared who their favorite teachers were and why. Right now, no one is voting. Let's say Coach Dully because he's an OG. He's cool and he's chill. My favorite teacher is uh, Coach Dudley because uh, whenever we're in gym, he always yells at the freshmen and calls them tools. Uh, Miss Lehman's because he helps me out when I need help. Coach Wilson because he always makes class entertaining and fun no matter what we're doing that day, whether it's notes or a worksheet. My favorite teacher is Patterson because she's fun and cool. My favorite teacher is Miss Patterson because she's nice and she makes you do your work. I would have to say Miss Shropshire because she's really understanding and she makes things easy in class. Sean Stepp because he's salty and I love him and he lets me call him Step Dog for no reason. My favorite teacher is Mr. Malecki. Um, I always have a good time in his class. He's really funny. Um, he plays a lot of weird songs and makes us memes all the time. So. Um, Miss Green's my favorite teacher because she relates to her students and <laughs> she's like a really real teacher. My favorite teacher is Mr. Tholen because he's an awesome teacher once you get to know him. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Kiana Tuck. Thanks, Kiana. That's it for this week on Tribal Review. I'm Madeline Webb. And I'm Raphael Chinnery. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.